Hello and assalamu alaikum. My name is Fakisha and in this video we will be uh, discussing the questions uh, and the assignment that we were assigned to uh, simulate in Proteus. So first of all we will start with the 5.4. So in this question we have to write a straight diagram of the following circuit and simulate in Proteus. Okay so this was a circuit diagram. So if I show you in my question over here. So this is a circuit diagram. Uh, there are three outputs, that is A, B, and C. So uh, the output of flip flop. So first of all, we have seen that there is no input. So our input is zero. There's a one output that is Z. And uh, we have three state variable that is A, B, and C. So initializing, uh, we will initialize it with zero. And uh, we are we have make three equations of these a, b, and c uh, straight variables uh, by make by saying this that uh, this AND gate is going in this uh, flip flop and uh, these connections are of AND gates are uh, going to these output b and c uh, so AND multiplies so b and c b into c uh, is the equation of A, and that is the next state, that is A T plus 1, equation of the next state, and the B T plus 1 is, you can see over here that this whole combination logic gives us uh, B bar C plus B C bar, and similarly, uh, this uh, C uh, next state gives us A bar and C bar, and that is equals to A, that is the output. So, we're seeing this, we have made a state table that is over here. Uh, so when A and B, C are all zero, the next state is the C plus A, the next state of C is only one and other are zero and the output is zero. So in similar, by seeing this whole table, we have made the state diagram by using Morse model. So in this model, we have seen that all were zero the output was zero uh, when a and b are zero and the c is one the output is still zero and uh, when we all go over here and see that uh, by applying one zero zero that a is one and b and c are zero zero so we get uh, uh, next state is zero 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 so we see that this and this state are common uh, coming the next state is equal to the this initial state so it makes circle uh, makes a loop uh, actually so so in this way it is uh, made a loop as these values are repeating uh, in a circular way so uh, the next three states are added over here so the actually all states over here are eight but the the main which are being used are these five states. So um, we will move on to the Proteus. So here you can see I have made that circuit in Proteus. And uh, this is the clock, uh, which I have given one hertz. Uh, and so this is the same circuit as you can see same circuit is drawn over here we will check it so in logic analyzer uh, you can see that when both um, this a0 is actually a which is also the z output and um, yes a1 is uh, b and a2 is the c so so it's a or you can say z is only one when the, the output is one when the b and c are zero which you can see over here that one when b and c are zero and a is one the z output is one which means a is one and z is one so the output is one but and in every other case we have zero, you can see over here, here C is zero, 
oh sorry c is one and uh, b is also one but output is uh, zero uh, similarly in this case c is zero b is one z is zero or a is zero uh, so this continues in this cycle form so when both are zero or output is one that is b and c are zero so the a or z is one so in the second question we have to design a control circuit for the vending machine and the, uh, we have to show a simulation so in the vending machine uh, the vending machine accepts our vending machine to accept nickels and dimes the nickel is a five and dimes the ten uh, when the machine has received 15 cents, these are in cents, 5 cents and 10 cents. So when the machine uh, accepts uh, 15 cents, it delivers a candy or um, gum or anything. If too much money has been added, so the machine should return the difference. That is, the machine should return or uh, the change back and the candy also when too much money is added. That means uh, either two dimes are added or two dimes and one nickel is added. Uh, so anything more than 15 cents is will should, should give us um, the change. So and when the candy has been released, the release mechanism brings the circuit back to the original state, starting state. So we shall move on to the, uh, the where we have sold. So this is the block diagram of our um, circuit. So nickels and dimes are being added to the vending machine, and the outputs are candy and the change return output. So uh, first of all, we'll move towards the state diagram. And uh, this state diagram is uh, made by Morse model. So according to this model, uh, we have these uh, four states in this uh, model uh, for this vending machine. And uh, our, both the outputs are zero at the initial state when nothing is being added. And when the nickel is added, uh, that is the five cents are being added to it. Uh, still no change and no candy is released because our candy has the price of 15 cents. So when uh, again a nickel is added, still no uh, change in the output, the output is zero. Uh, and our total amount becomes 10 cents. But if uh, five, uh, if uh, on the second step on the second state, uh, after five cents, we add a dime, that is 10 cents, our total amount uh, becomes uh, 15 cents. And we move on towards this state uh, four, uh, which is S3, and the uh, candy is released because our 15 cents are complete and the candy should release. And uh, there's no change in the, um, in the change uh, where we have to return the change. So it, should, it would be zero because 15 cents are complete. So if we come to so this uh, straight um, straight line and the states, uh, so after 10 cents, if a nickel is added, uh, still it should give us a candy and and should give us no change back because 15 cents are complete for the candy. So if after 10 cents are being in the or running machine and we add more 10 cents. Uh, it should give us a candy and a change of five cents. So this state shows that. So after that, it goes back to the original state and then this process can repeat again. So total states in the most model are five. So we, should, we will see in the what happens in melee model. So this is the melee model. And according to this model, if nothing is added, to the first state, uh, that is nickel and dime are zero. Uh, the state remains the same, but if a nickel is added, it moves the state as one, and the uh, outputs are still zero, and five cents are in the system. Uh, and if the, we add more five cents to it, still no change would occur in the uh, in the vending machine, and no in the outputs, no change and no uh, candy is released uh, in both states. If we add nothing 
uh, these states will remain on their exact position and if on ending adding 10 cells are being in the state um, s2 uh, if we add 10 more cents it would give us a candy and a change uh, if we add five cents it will give us a candy and no change back so according to these state diagrams uh, we have made this state table as you can see uh, this state represent a and b which are the inputs and uh, these nickel or dimes are the inputs and these are the outputs according to this model that we have discussed over here so by using that state diagrams we have used we're using d flip flops and uh, we have used k maps to take out the equations and by those equations we have designed this circuit circuit diagram so we will moving on towards the proteus for seeing the simulation so if we make it zero so let's start the simulation this is the nickel that is five cents input and this is dying the ten cents input this is the change output and uh, this is the candy output. So if we give a nickel, that is five cents, and this is the clock input. And so if the three clocks are completed, that is three times a nickel is added, we should get a candy and not a change. A change should be zero. So let's run the simulation. So three clocks have completed, we are getting the candy and the change is zero. And this cycle will repeat if the, then again, if it is six o'clock, now it has reached six o'clock, candy, as we have got candy. So if you stop it and make the nickel zero and the nine one. So in this case, both change and candy should be one in this output because uh, after two cycles, of dine, the two clock cycles, the dine uh, gives us 20 cents uh, and we have a candy of 15 cents and a change of five cents. So let's run the simulation. So now it is after the two clocks uh, and it is showing us one and one in the change and the one in the candy. So in this way, uh, this circuit has uh, run successfully. Now we'll move on towards our next question. So in this uh, next question, we have uh, been given with the Mille model of a garage door opener, and we have to make uh, the circuit diagram by using uh, logic uh, gates, and uh, how we have to simulate in Proteus. So, so this is our Mille machine uh, of uh, garage door opener. So there's an initial state, uh, there's upper limit and a down limit. And this is moving up, motor will show us moving up and motor show moving down. So we have decoded this, if I show you assignment. So we have decoded this, we have taken the states out of it that are the uh, five states. That is S0 is the initial or the initial state from the uh, Malay model and S1 is the next uh, down next state. This is S2 is up next state. S3 is moving down and S4 is moving up. And, we, and these are the three inputs. Uh, activate uh, upper limit and down limit and outputs are the moving up and moving down. Uh, you can see over here, these are the outputs uh, moving up and moving down. So, so in this state a table, uh, we have uh, we taken these inputs and according to these inputs, we have uh, derived these outputs, uh, uh, which will show us either the motor is moving up, motor is moving down, or it says uh, both are zero. So we have uh, made uh, three equations, DA, DB, and DC uh, by using uh, uh, K-maps. And we have derived the uh, equations out of that. And this is uh, motor moving down, motor moving up, or the two equations also. And we have also derived from that. Uh, so now we're moving on towards the Proteus. And uh, from those equations, we have derived uh, these, um, made these uh, logic gates connections and uh, uh, made these equations into circuit. So, uh, so here uh, we have used bubble system. Uh, not the uh, wire. We have not used the wires because uh, uh, this uh, would make well, this was making very complex. 
so this is the on, uh, input here is the input system where we are given the activate upper limit and down limit here is the output system uh, of the circuit uh, so, uh, so this is the motor up and motor down so this is the motor and here is the uh, flip-flop uh, being used uh, here we have given the clock to the every three of the flip-flop and according to the three equations are d a d v and d c uh, i have made this circuit uh, logic connections so uh, here is the addition case of d a where uh, we had made the equation by using sops the sum of product so these are the product of um, each input and they, they are then added together so this is the complete d a output this is the d b output and this is the d c output so so if i simulate it uh, on the simulation uh, here it is on zero state if i activate it so it's moving towards the upside as we have given the upper limit so it's moving towards up so if i pause it and the solution and if i give it the down limit and then i activate the system so you can see it's moving towards the down region so if i give both system zero upper limit down limit zero the motor should stop so the motor is in stop position if i uh, give it upper limit let's give it upper limit it's moving towards right if i give it down so you can see the motor will come eventually to zero position so the motor has come to 0 0.01 and now 0.00, 0 as we have given the upper and down limit both so motor has come to the zero position so uh, in this way our simulation has worked perfect perfectly so that was it from this video thank you very much